archaeologist Sam the Jonestruct. Welcome to the proximity. I'm having a Talos Principle 2 adventure. Um, if I'm looking a little bit different, it's because I just changed all my camera settings. Let's go into the game. Got to do those golden gates. I don't know if I'm going to get this finished today, because uh, I won't be playing this for very long, to be honest. But um, also, I forgot to have this. Uh, not that. Uh, this? Yes. And, uh, all my confusion. Uh, didn't do that. So, uh, yes, I've been distracted by a shiny new game, but I do actually want to finish this shiny new game as well. Um, I'm assuming this is an unsolved puzzle. Hollow. Oh, that's funny because that's a song in the Final Fantasy game as well. Uh,. Oh, I remember. I remember this puzzle. So, yes. I've had a holiday from work. I mean, I worked today, but from home. And I, I took Monday and Tuesday off. And, you know, I've been... I'm in... I'm awake. I've got my... Oh, a cup of tea? That's hot enough. Um... We're in pretty good circumstances for completing puzzles. I mean, I might still fail for many reasons. Uh, so we have... We have the RGB. We have a red. The blue. And we can use to connect that up if we want. With some wangling and finagling, we could probably open up this door. But we definitely can't open up both. There might be a way... So we can do that if we want. We have this here, of course. What do we actually want? Because uh, with some wangling, some finagling, and uh, some shenanigans, we might even be able to get this in there, and then we wouldn't even need this door. Perhaps. I mean, we just need to laser this thing. It's going to be a lot easier. Surely to do that. Hmm. But what do we actually want? I think I already know what I, we need. We need a green wire here and the only way to get green is by the RGB now it could be yeah that is not gonna extend that far so what we need is this specific object out there
That's it, that's all we need, right? And then we need a blue laser there and in the thing. So we only need two objects. We only need this and this outside. So we need this as an object that stays inside and it needs to put power on itself somehow. Okay. Alright, that is a potential issue. I the the actual spacing. That's why I would really love an undo button in this game. Cause now I have to restart. Hope that I can get to that point again.
Go on, we can go full circle with this. Okay, so now what I want... ...is I want this to power itself. Right, there's a slight issue. Okay, I've got it in the bag. That's fine. Then that's fine. I can take that now. Game's a lot easier when my brain's working. Lovely. I could not accept that my daughter was gone. Her body was destroyed, obliterated. But we're more than just a body. We're a pattern, a melody in ones and zeros. And I was convinced that somewhere, somehow, that melody still existed. I just couldn't believe that it didn't. I refused to. That thought consumed me. In some ways, it broke me. But I didn't give up. Not every obsession has to be fought, you know. The easy way isn't always the right one. You can't survive falling there.
four, seven, eight, eh? Well, we figured out that one. There it is. Golden Gate. The mule. Why did I run up to it? There's a wall. There's a thing that'll shoot for a wall. There's a wall. This all feels very specific.
Where's a blue laser? Hmm. I fear I might have used up all my brain juice already. We solved a puzzle though, but... I'm not seeing how to easily navigate back and forth. There's not like a door I can jam open. My brain used to work better than this. <sighs> Though I did have a lot of chocolate, that's probably not helping. It's my allergies. But, excuses, excuses. to physically get over there in order to put something on the button.
gonna try a different one. I can tell if when well, my brain's not gonna engage with something. And I shouldn't push it if it's not gonna. around here as, as well. We've done half of them. As soon as my I uh, opened up the mule level, the brain just went, oh, I don't want to do this anymore. Hmm. Is there one where is the last one? We've done five of them. Which is not half of them apparently. I guess there's only eleven. One of them is like the ending or something. Apparently a question mark in this one still. This isn't gonna work, is it? It did work. What's the question mark? Keep running around. Through the fog. The air pollution. There's probably no air pollution right now. This seems like quite the trick. It's that way all the doggers go. The of the sea. And it's not through floods and ruin that the sea will claim everything, but through us. Right, I apparently just missed one of these palm readers. Uh, Chernevsky. Uh, from Arkady Chernevsky, uh, in our likeness, essays on the humankind reaching adulthood. With alarming frequency, our mythological narratives conceptualize our separation from nature as a fall, a punishment for sinning, loss of innocence, a decline from the golden age. We believe that a better state of humanity is possible, but insist that this state must be in the past, yet our historical experience has been the exact opposite. Uh, for all the horrors of modern war, and they are considerable, relatively few people today have suffered suffered the unspeakable agonies of, that our ancestors went through on a daily basis. It is doubly ironic that we place our golden ages in the past, but very rarely ever considered the life was actually like for the people whose genes we carry. How cold they were, how hungry, how frightened, the cruelty of nature. What unspeakable pains they must have experienced when they were sick or injured. How many of their children had they had to lose, unable to help, begging the heavens for mercy, never receiving an answer. The past is slowly receding tide of wave, tidal wave of grief. Big number. The battle for human emancipation is not yet won. The path 
has been far from straightforward, and yet, in but a few thousand years, we've eliminated a great deal of suffering that that before must have been seemed unavoidable and eternal. Some still suffer, their lives held ransom by politics and economics. But at least for now, we know better, a better world is truly possible, and it lies in the future. Founding from Hapatia's Journals, Volume 1, The Founding of New Jerusalem, Day 1, 3, 2. We had a bit of an incident today, nothing major, but it still woke us all up. Son was away from the camp, alone, even though we had agreed that we should always go in teams. She encountered a group of herbivores we saw on the first day. Cows, they're called. Apparently our ancestors kept them as livestock. Eustathius says they squeezed them for liquid, and I find that hard to believe, but I digress. Sun encountered a herd, and just as predicted the animals were passive at first, friendly even. Sun decided to abandon her survey and study them for a while, which went well until a group of wolves, formerly dogs, a type of pet, entered the clearing, causing a stampede. Some is alright, only minor scratches to the bodywork and a few torn wires, but it was a close call. I guess we've all gotten a little complacent, a little too comfortable. I have to be more careful from now on. fiction for a bit because I love science fiction but it drives me nuts there's this cliche that shows up over and over and every time someone uses it everyone pretends it's really profound it goes something like this a scientist invents something good but oh no it's actually really bad you could have something that makes your life better but no you can't how dare you even want it that's hubris that's playing God and it's never anything that reflects the real world, right? It's never, oh no, you invented a vaccine for cervical cancer. Oh no, you invented a new class of antibiotics. Oh no, you cured malaria. How dare you? Those diseased mosquitoes are way more important than human lives. How did science fiction become so reactionary? You know, if we all thought this way, you guys wouldn't even exist. It was always reactionary. Frankenstein is that. She has good taste. That's literally the plot to Frankenstein. Golden Gates. Vantage point. Ah, oh, let me have it. Ah, oh, let me have the box. I probably need it for something. Ah, oh, if only I had a box right now. Hmm, this is not a great sign for my brain. Like, I was like, I check a fan, because that's the thing I always forget. But I can't see anything to put on this here. And you'd think it would be this fan. Let me pick up the fan. Isn't it? Let me pick it up. You can't even start this puzzle. I already know what this is. Oh no, it's this. I'd like to thank 1K for recovering all of Trevor's recording. It's clear they meant a lot to Athena. And it should mean a lot to us too. He's a much of our progenitor as Alexander Dr Drennan was, we should not forget him. It's all a love story in the end, all of human history, even when people die, we never have the chance to get to know each other. Love is the only thing that survives the abyss of time. Without the love Trevor felt for Alexandra, without the love Alexandra felt for us, none of us would be here and nothing would matter. Thank you, 1K. As tragic as this story was, it gives me hope. And who knows, perhaps she loved him too, or could have. Uh, I'm basing this on Athena's descriptions of the simulation and what little sense it managed to make of the megastructure systems. I think the gold puzzle is meant to open up uh, when every other puzzle has been solved. Solving them will lead to something. Okay, no, no, this is not what 
research was pointing to. That's this here. Okay. John, you're being dumb. You're missing, like, literally an object that you can pick up. You have to be, because otherwise you just can't do anything. Fuck's sake. Something like that. Where, where is that to try and get to? Right, I'm gonna have to do a cut. <laughs> 